Hi YouTube, this is going to be a black background. Um, I'm laying down and I wanted to wish all the Tauruses a happy birthday. Um, I'm a Taurus myself, so my birthday was on the 2nd. So I want to speak to the Tauruses out there, males and females. So a lot of people don't understand us. And sometimes you really don't give a shit if they don't understand Tauruses. Um, by the way, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, May the 4th. So I'm just doing this, um, just talking about how people don't understand Tauruses. I thought it was really important that I get this out. Um, Tauruses don't like to be bullshitted. They don't like to be lied to. Uh, Tauruses are very giving very kind-hearted, very sympathetic, passionate, romantic passion. Um, when you're dealing with another sign, you know, for Taurus, is Virgo and Cancer is the best match. But I feel like some of us are going through some shit with another sign. You know, whether you're female dealing with a male, male dealing with a female of another sign. Um, I think a lot of us are going through some things that you don't trust your mate. Maybe they proved several times that you can't trust them. Um, they did some things. You know they did some things. And somehow you just can't let that go. It's always in the back of your mind. Um, you've been lied to for so long, you've been mistreated so long, they've crossed you so many times, but yet they expect you to, you know, just come with open arms and say, hey, you know, I trust you, blah, blah, blah. You know, Taurus, once we get fucked over, it's hard to trust them and it doesn't matter what sign it is. Okay, you can love them, you can adore them, you can, you know, fuck the shit out of them, you know, just be with them, and you always keep that part in the back of your mind what they have done, and I think that Taurus deals with a lot of narcissist people. Um, I feel like a lot of signs try to tell us that we're wrong. When you catch a narcissist in their ways, they always blame you for for everything that's happening. You know, um, as soon as you call them out on their shit, it's like they want to blame you for everything. Okay? And Taurus, we know when we're being lied to, when we're bullshitted, we know this, you know? And other signs can't stand that. They don't like to be called out on their crap, but they can call you out on your crap. And I don't like that. I don't like that. See, because once I give my heart and you break it and I find out some things about you that you have done to me personally, you know, it's hard to trust you. You know, it's hard to deal with you. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you Tauruses feel the same way. Now, I will tell you what I see for Taurus this whole year, I feel, and I and I strongly believe this, and I've said this in my readings before, that I feel like exes are coming back because we're in retrograde. And, you know, every time we're in retrograde, exes want to come back. And it's the only time they want to come back. Retrograde seems to bring back all kind of idiots, you know, and we don't have time for that. You know, an ex is an ex for a reason. Uh, a lot of Tauruses, uh, since you've been in quarantine, have been going through some BS. Um, you're finding out exactly, do you want to be with that person or don't you? And there is a lot of domestic violence that's going on in quarantine at this particular time. A lot of child abuse, um, entertainment purposes only. But people are starting to find out. Um, that the person that you've been married to or the person that you've been living with, 
they're a different person. You know, everybody's getting on your nerves. You're used to going to work. You're used to doing something every day. And now you're stuck at home because this virus is very serious, Taurus. You know, this, as fast as this virus goes, this virus is coming back again. And it's going to last a long time. Okay? Seriously. And if you're in quarantine, you need to stay in quarantine. Um, because it's killing people more and more each day. They're uplifting this mandatory lockdown. And I'm telling you, as you watch every day on Facebook, you know, on the news, there's more and more people dying because people are not used to being secluded. Okay? Um, but this is to save your life. It really is to save your life. Only go outside when you need to go outside. And no matter what state that you live in, Taurus, once they uplift this, you need to wear your mask. You need to wear your gloves. You need to stay six feet or more apart. Because I'm telling you, people are walking around here and don't know that they got this virus. And I can guarantee you this. I know for a fact. When they uplift this and people start going out, there's going to be more deaths. Entertainment purposes only, but there's going to be more deaths. People are hard-headed. They're not listening to us. So I want you to use your head. Only go out for things that you really need to go out for. Other than that, I know it's hard, but you need to stay in the house. Don't let nobody come over your house. You know, you need to stay in, stay quarantined. Because in the Bible it says, my people, you know, in other words, are going to listen. I swear this reminds me of Noah's Ark. When Noah tried to get everybody on the ark, and people were laughing at him. And then when the water started rising, then they wanted to get on, on, on the ark. So this is another thing. God is telling you to stay in your houses for a reason. The ones that listen to him and that are obedient are going to come out the winners. The ones that are rushing out, just like they did in Noah's ark and didn't believe them, those are the ones, a lot of people that are going to die. And you've got to pay attention. You've got to listen, Taurus. Heads up on this and any other sign that's listening to this video. You really need to listen. Because this shit ain't no joke. It's wiping people out. People that I know. People that have been close to me are dying. One week they got this virus. Then the next minute they're dead. The next following week. It's scary. And you need to take precaution. This shit ain't no joke. And all of us psychics know this. When they lift up, uplift this order, do not be the first one to run out. And I'm going to tell you another thing. It's a new world order. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have the chip in that vaccine to give you. Okay? Um, new world order, a lot of things are changing. A lot of restaurants are not going to open back up. Um, they're closing for good. Um there's going to be a lot of changes in this world. A lot of changes in this world. And you need to get prepared for that, Taurus. You know, things are changing. And they're changing drastically. New world order. Look it up. Read about it. Okay? But, Tauruses, you know, don't let other signs walk over you. Don't. Put your feet down. You've really got to express how you feel. you got to tell people how you feel. You can't take no more BS. Put your feet down. Put both of them. And stand up for your beliefs. Okay? Taurus are good people. Taurus are stubborn and very bullheaded. And they, they don't like change, including myself. They are a fear of change. But... Sometimes change is good to us, okay? A lot of us need to change, including myself, okay? But there's going to be a lot of breakups this year. There's going to be a lot of divorces. There's going to be a lot of exes coming back. You got new loves coming in. Um, but there's going to be a lot of changes. A lot of you are going to be moving you're going to be selling your homes. The market is down. Now is the best time to buy a house after quarantine. Before this, before the houses shoot back up again to 7%, 5%, 6%. You know, um, 
you guys, when you go back to work, this should show you that you need to start saving your money, including myself. Um, you need to start making better choices, Taurus, because a lot of us don't make the greatest choices for our well-being. Be the leader that you are. Stand up for your beliefs and don't let nobody bully you. If they don't like what you say, Taurus, that's too bad. But Tauruses need to start standing up for their beliefs and forget what everybody else thinks. If they can't accept you for who you are, Taurus, then you need to leave them alone. That goes for people that you love, family, friends, relationships. Okay? So I just thought I would stop on here for a few minutes. Um, I, the Spirit wanted me to get on. The Spirit wanted me to talk to you for a few minutes. Happy birthday, Taurus. Um, this year for you is to make better decisions for yourself, not for other people. Stop pleasing other people and start pleasing yourself. Start thinking for yourself. And that is the truth. Okay? So this is Born With a Veil. God bless you. This is for the whole year of 2020. God bless.